that doesn't matter. I know. Double up a couple times. Yeah, exactly. All right, let's talk about some of these hands. Uh, I want you to explain what happened when you and Ace King pre-flop. You raised, there was a re-raise, and you re-raised that. Why? Uh, he made it 11K. I made it 35, and he made it 100. And he had about 160 behind that. And uh, what I notice about a lot of these like live players mm -hmm. is that when they're faced with a, a difficult decision, they don't really calculate pot odds. They just kind of like put their opponent on a hand and just make a decision. Okay. So I, I kind of felt like he was making a play, and I also felt like he wouldn't feel priced in if I shoved. So I decided to shove because I thought he would fold a lot of hands there. And uh, I just ran into Kings. But I mean, he's going to fold Jacks. He, he, he told me he'd probably fold Queens. Really? Yeah. So. I just feel like Ace King is such a dangerous hand. You know what I mean? I kind of wish I didn't because I had such a good position and if I fold it I still turn it into K and you know I'd right. room. And if I if you know if I shove he calls and I lose, then I'm in pretty bad shape. But I'm still alive, so it's a it's a borderline play at best. I, I, I'm in favor of folding in hindsight. But Normally. Yeah. You just felt it? Yeah, I just you felt like you would fold, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so what do you do now? You're a second to last in chips, is that correct? I, I think so, I've got okay. 100. Um, every round is about 20k, so I have five rounds of play left, so... Um, you might just keep pushing? I'm, I'm probably going to be shoving good, good hands the first round, and the second round I'm just going to be shoving everything. Yeah. yeah. Alright, well, best of luck to you. Alright, thanks wanna a lot. I want to see you stay. I know. Make us happy. Make us proud. I'll, I'll do my best. Okay. All right.